Hello everybody, Mops here. Hope you're all doing well. I wanted to make a very quick video, kind of as more of an alert to some people who might be getting copyright claims from a certain uh, Merlin audio salad or something of those, uh, something on those lines. I want to talk a little bit about what happened last night after my six hour Left 4 Dead 2 stream, uh, just to add context to make, you know, make this make a little bit more sense. So last night I released my live stream as a VOD. Uh, you know, it automatically does that every time I finish a stream. And I noticed when I went to YouTube Studio that I immediately had a copyright claim and I assumed incorrectly that it was Lo-Fi Records because the only music that I used in that six hour live stream was Lo-Fi Girl music from the official 24-7 Lo-Fi Girl radio. Um, but it was not lo-fi records that was giving me a copyright claim it was instead merlin audio salad on behalf of beat lab i'll actually put a, an image of the claim uh on screen right now but yeah needless to say after triple checking the official lo-fi records usage page to make sure that i followed all of their uh you know requirements and everything correctly i immediately assumed this was a false claim so I did the logical thing, and I disputed the claim. I provided links to the usage page. Uh, I stated that Lo-Fi Records themselves should be the one that is contacting me about any sort of copyright claims, not some third party, and that this is more than likely a false claim. Uh, and I told them pretty much just to the effect of I was going to contact somebody uh, or ha wait until somebody from Lo-Fi Records contacted me before I did anything about this claim uh, and, you know, basically just letting it right all over me. So I sent the dispute, and about the next day, the claim was dropped. Now, that's all well and good, but the fact still remains that I got false claimed. Now, this is not anything new on YouTube. There have been plenty of people who have gotten false claims from various different com uh, companies and groups and organizations and whatever. Uh, I've heard plenty about people who, you know, play Undertale, for example, and have their streams and whatnot uh, content ID'd or, you know, copyright claimed from companies that don't own the rights to the music. But... I wanted to make this video specifically about Audio Salad because this isn't the first time that they have done false claims. Uh, I'm going to put a uh, link in the description for a video uh, from Game Pain, I believe it is. Uh, he did a video, or he or she did a video, uh, also discussing a false content ID or false uh, copyright claim from Audio Salad on some Nintendo music, more specifically Legend of Zelda music. Now. They also disputed the claim, and the individuals or individual uh, backed off from the claim. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't want to fight with Nintendo, of all people, about, you know, having false, uh, you know, control over specific audios or music or whatever. But in that video, the individual in one of the comments, I believe, says... Uh, that he recommends people make videos about Audio Salad doing false claims to spread awareness, and that is exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, if you get a content ID or a copyright claim from Audio Salad, dispute that shit, contact the actual owners of the audio or music that you are using, and also make sure that you're using this stuff, like, legitimately. The only music that I ever use in my streams and will continue to use in any of my future streams or videos is only lo-fi girl music because I know the usage policy, I know what the copyright is like, I know that if something you know does come up in regards to copyright that it's going to be lo-fi records specifically that contacts me and not some third party. So if I do get a content ID or I do get a claim on one of my videos or my streams, I'll know who it is or I'll know you know what to do about it. So, I recommend for, you know, future uh, incidences involving uh, Audio Salad or other similar uh, groups that try to false claim people's videos or streams. Firstly, only use, you know, content, videos, you know, audio, whatever, that you know the policies behind, that you know the copyright for, that you have permission to use, like legitimate permission, and you've consulted the original owners for permission to actually use this, you know, audio or music or whatever. As well as this, know who you're going to get contacted by if you do get content ID'd or if you do get claimed. 
if I had been claimed or given a uh, copyright claim from Lo-Fi Records, very specifically Lo-Fi Records, not Lo-Fi Girl or any other company, then I would have taken this very seriously. I would have, you know, allowed it to go through because those are the original owners. Those are the ones that have ownership over that music. Because this was a third party and I know the usage policy, I immediately recognized that this was a false claim. In other cases, you may not... It may not be that obvious. You may get, you know, claimed by a company that you don't recognize. So know who is going to be contacting you. And if you get contacted by somebody who you don't believe is, you know, actually associated with the company that has the rights to the content that you're using, contact the actual company. I, contact Lo -fi, uh, I contacted Lo-Fi Records to confirm. Uh, I also consulted the internet to see if there were any other people having issues with Audio Salad. And that's how I realized that Audio Salad was indeed doing multiple false claims on multiple different audios and multiple different music. Uh, from Legend of Zelda, which is owned by Nintendo, to Lo-Fi Girl, which is owned by Lo-Fi Records. In the end, Audio Salad is just very, very good at uh, being bad, I assume. So, again... If you get content ID'd by Audio Salad, I would just assume that it is a false claim because they've done multiple false claims. There have been multiple people warning about false claims, and I just want to spread awareness to make sure that nobody else has to deal with that. Or if you do have it happen to you, you know how to react to it. Um, I'm going to continue to only use lo fi girl music in any of my future videos or streams or whatever. And if I do use other music, I will make sure to look very deeply into the copyright behind that, you know, audio, music, whatever, to make sure that if I do get content ID'd or I do get claimed, I have the ability to combat it or I know how to react to it correctly. Uh, and also a little bit of an extra tip. If you're going to do a dispute on a con uh, content ID or a claim, be formal about it, be professional, don't throw around, you know, any sort of hate messages or just be super hostile. Uh, be, you know, insistent that you are in the right if you are, if you know you are, uh, but don't be an asshole because then you have a less likely chance of being taken seriously. But that's all for this. A uh, little informal video, uh, or in informal, I don't know how to say it, but point is, just be on the lookout, and take care. Goodbye.